Hey guys, this is Jack Nays with BassJack.com, BassJack TV, and I want to show you something I've been trying out for the past, past couple of months. It is a automatic jigging rod holder, and it's called the Smart Jigger, and this is a prototype that I have that they wanted me to try out, and it was really made for vertical spooning or jigging, but when I saw it, the first thing I thought of was, you know, this would be excellent for trolling because... I've been advocating for years that you catch a lot more fish trolling when you actually pump the rod back and forth with your hand. So when I saw this thing, I was like, wow, I wonder if it'll really work for trolling. And I tried it out during salmon season. And it worked out great. Uh, unfortunately, the salmon season was terrible this year, so we didn't catch too many fish on it. But it proved the theory that I could handle quite a bit of weight. So basically what it is is a box with a lid on top that has a rod holder and just pivots up and down. And what you can do is you can actually record different patterns with this knob and these record buttons and then it just plays it back over and over again. So you can kind of dial in your own custom motion, you know, that you like to use when you're either trolling or jigging. So what I'm going to do is uh, go and let you take a look at this. Remember, this is just a prototype machine here and uh, I'm out here trolling on Lake Comanche. So here we go. We're going to take a look at it right here. It's basically this box. You can see there's different buttons and stuff. You know, there's a knob where you can actually manually do it. There's a couple record buttons, A and B, and then there's a random button where it just automatically kind of just plays whatever it wants to randomly. And there's a stop button down here where you can stop it. Now, it will automatically stop if it loads up with a fish or something. It will, it will go ahead and close down. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what, what I've been using it for. Uh, it's my number A button here. I go ahead and hit that. And I've already recorded this pattern. As I back up, you kind of see what it's doing here. It's it's actually uh, just going up and down kind of crazy, almost like you're pumping the rod by hand, but it's doing it automatically. So today I'm out here with some side planers, and hopefully you can kind of see what my side planer is doing. It's kind of jerking forward and then fluttering back, and that's what it's doing to the lure. You know, the lure is going to flutter back, and that's usually when the fish are going to grab it. And this is really going to get you a lot more strikes if you either do this by hand or by machine in this case. You're going to get a lot more fish by pumping the rod and trolling like this. So I think this machine is really going to work out great. Like I said, this is just a prototype. I've been testing it, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the, all the possibilities with it. Okay, so we're back in the studio now. This is a nice rainbow trout that I caught using the Smart Jigger a couple weeks after I shot that Comanche video. The day I was at Comanche, it was real slow. I only picked up a few fish, but I was at a few weeks later, and you could see that, you know, this nice-looking rainbow slammed over Apollo that I had behind that same side planer on the same side that I shot the other video. So, you know, that jerking motion really is kind of ripping that Rapala in an erratic way, and... Um, it's going to trigger fish like this to grab it, whereas some might just kind of follow along and just decide not to take it and then take off. So um, I definitely encourage you to check out their website, soonfriend.com, or you could just Google Smart Jigger, and you can check out the possibilities with this thing, and hopefully they'll have it in production soon.